Good evening. Tonight we are getting a closer look at a wild chase which ended with the arrest of two people. Only local 12 News had coverage of the chase when police pursued the suspects into the busy neighborhood. They ran off and hid from officers after crashing their vehicle. Local 12 News reporter Larry Davis is live in Blue Ash with more on the police video and how officers got a little help along the way. Larry? Yeah, Brad, the police did indeed get a lot of help on this one. First off, some hotel employees called about suspicious drug activity. Then a driver pointed in the direction the suspects were going so police could follow them. Once they got to a neighborhood, the neighbors helped out and showed police where they were going there as well. And they were giving those directions even though their lives were placed in danger by those suspects. During the pursuit, police got help along the way. On the right-hand side of your screen, you can see a motorist pointing in the direction the suspects traveled. Police Chief Paul Hardinger says the chase went down Kenwood Road into the Hazelwood subdivision. Suspect vehicles creating a lot of smoke up here from hitting the brakes. You can see skid marks here. The chase continues down a narrow street. You can see a man exiting a car getting out of the way. The day of the pursuit, Limernall Powell says it was a close call. He almost got me. I was opening the door to get out, and then I was squeeze, squeeze, and I saw the police coming behind him with his lights flash. He went up there, and then they come back through that yard there, and they jumped out there, and they were running. You know, the officer turns on to Centennial Avenue here. The vehicle actually crashes on the left-hand side. The officer didn't see that right away. After losing sight of the suspects, the officer asked neighbors for help. Hey, did you see a vehicle fly through here? Chief Hardinger says the suspect's vehicle crashed into the backyard of this home. The man and woman took off on foot. As police canvassed the neighborhood, a sheriff's helicopter searched overhead. A short time later, the man and woman were handcuffed and placed into custody. They had been found hiding under the deck of a home. It went into a yard where folks were actually outside and getting ready to cut the grass, so it was very dangerous. These folks were very desperate to get away from the law enforcement. And Brad, police can't say enough about that cooperation they got. The hotel employees who saw something and said something. The motorist who was actually pointing out the direction that uh, the suspects were traveling. And, of course, those good neighbors who they say have a very good relationship with police. And it indeed took a lot of teamwork to uh, capture those suspects. Live in Blue Ash, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Brad, back to you. Cooperation works, Larry. Thanks very much. Two people arrested have been identified as Joe LeClaire of Mainville. He's charged with possession of drug paraphernalia and fleeing and eluding. Erica Burkhart of Newport was cited for possession of drug paraphernalia.